What is going on, everybody? Uh, Christian Ballard here, Ballard Sports Media, coming at you with another college football flashback video, is what I'm calling this new series, I guess, uh, where I look back at old college football games, and I, I know this is this is on the list, but I figured why not go ahead and do it. Uh, there's not really a particular order I want to do it, but if you look back at the first game that I did just the other day, uh, talked about how the 1987 Fiesta Bowl, uh, Penn State beating Miami, defense wins champ championships, you know, Pete Gustopolis, you know, intercepts the football in the end zone, takes a knee, wins the game for Penn State. Uh, you know, that, that was a game from 1987. I want to look at a game from 19, or actually, I'm sorry, uh, farther back than that, 18... 69 throwing it back all the way to the very first college football game um this is gonna be interesting but uh let's go ahead and get into it all right so th this is obviously on the list i mean listen if i'm gonna you know look at back at old college football games you cannot expect me to not look back at the very first football game now it, it, it's weird it is weird um this was 1869. Here we are in 2020. We're talking about 151 years later. We just celebrated the 150th season of college football last year in 2019. We're coming up on 151. Uh, you know, it feels like it's probably longer than that. When you hear 1869 or 1800 whatever now, you think that was a thousand years ago. That was That was like millions of years you know that's you know a century whatever uh i mean it's two centuries but still um you know so the football has really changed since then so look looking back at the very first college football game 1869 first off the date was november 6 1869 right a hundred people showed up for the game it was rutgers and it was New Jersey, also known as Princeton now. Princeton used to be New Jersey. Uh, it was the College of New Jersey, so they called it. Uh, and it was Rutgers. And they met uh, for the very first football game, November 6, 1869. Uh, apparently, the rules governing play, and, and you know, I'm getting sources from Wikipedia and everything, um, you know, looking around at stuff, doing my research at this. Apparently, from what I have read, these rules governing play were based on London Football Association's uh, 1863 rules. Uh, now, th this is how this sport of football got its name. Uh, these rules I just mentioned, there was no touching the ball with your hands. There's no throwing or running the football. Uh, you could not carry or throw it. Uh, so it was basically soccer. Uh, so what happened? Let's look into that. All right, so they had what they called back then games. Uh, no, no kidding, Ballard. Of course they had games. It was football. Not what I'm talking about. See, game at the time was basically goal or score or in this case what we know today in college football or nfl is a touchdown right so if alabama scores a touchdown back then they would have said bama just scored a game uh you know florida kicks a field goal it's a game uh you know oh clemson just sacked the quarterback in the end zone got clemson got a safety it's a game now uh or back then uh, so, it, it, I mean, it was it was really weird. It really was. Um, so it was Rutgers and Princeton, right? And so they played to ten games. Basically, the first to score uh, ten points, um, you know, or. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I got it mixed up. So, okay, here we go. The teams play 10 games, or in this case, you know, quarters or whatever, uh, today. Uh, so they play 10 games against each other. 
when a team had scored a goal, it counted as the end of that game. So if uh, one team scored first, that's game one. The other team scores, that's game two. Uh, you know, or maybe neither team scores, you know. Um, and then the team with the most goals after 10 games was the winner. Um, that's not even close to how it is today. Uh, you have quarters, right? Now, that's kind, that, that's kind of almost like overtime rules in a way. I mean, it's like, you know, at, at least not in the playoff, uh, you know, in the month of the playoff, you know, with the ball games. It's like first touchdown wins it or, you know, first score after both teams get a possession or whatever, right? Um, you know, it's like, you know, the first – basically, you play overtime until someone doesn't score – uh, well, th that's kind of almost like how this was. Uh, I mean, you play 10 games or, or get 10 points and you win. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it has really changed. And it was based on not the NCAA. It was just the FA, Football Association. Uh, you know, it and it was uh, – which, which basically now today – is football in England or soccer? It's actually soccer. Uh, that I'm in America. I'm gonna call it soccer. Both teams had 25 players, right? Uh, they all, of course, were on the field. They all attempted to score by kicking the ball into the opposing team's goal. So it basically was like soccer to start out. Uh, there was no touching the ball with your hand. Um, you know, I mean, so you would run up to the ball, you would kick it, and you would kick it, I guess, across the goal line into the end zone. Um, you know, uh, each defense, or at this time, fielders, um, uh, you know, defensive players or offensive players, I think, were fielders. Um, you know, there were 11 of them who were supposed to defend their own air territorial area. Basically, uh, what I just described again, as I mentioned, defense, right? They called them fielders back then. You know, defend your area. Don't let them get past you. Don't let them get into the goal or end zone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you if you say, look at that fielder right there, today. Uh, you could. I'm sure someone's gonna beat you up. I I don't think anybody <laughs> uses that term in college football anymore. I mean, I'm telling you, man. Th this this game has come a long way. College football. Rutgers and New Jersey are still there. Uh, no one says fielders. No one kicks the ball unless it's a field goal, a punt, or a kickoff, and that's it, right? People actually use their hands now. Um, let's see. Let's see. Rutgers captain John W. Leggett had a strategy for his team at this point. Um talking about what happened here so when the ball was in Rutgers territory right the ball would get uh you know uh well there was a player named Madison M. Ball right who was a Civil War veteran wounded uh you know so he would get in front of the ball and use a heel kick basically using your heel um and I know you couldn't see that but you would use your heel to kick the ball to the goal. Uh, you know, but it was like he would get in front of the goal and kick it with his heel to prevent it going in the goal and allowing New Jersey to score. Uh, so it was, it was kind of like soccer. It really was. It, it was kind of like soccer when it first started out. I'm sure this is, this is probably where... Uh, soccer came from maybe soccer came before it and they tried to be like soccer i don't know uh, 
but you you don't I mean now you know what you see in football is we're just going to jump up and block the block the field goal block the punt or we're going to go up and intercept it or you know to prevent a score and getting getting points on the board you know as a defense we're going to go pick it off no at this point they were trying to kick the ball because they would roll it on the ground again they wouldn't throw the football they wanted to kick it on the ground uh and so a defender would be back there and they would kick the ball out uh it, i mean it's it's a really confusing thing i mean again i i'm just you know talking about it i mean i'm sure it would have been oh it's so hard to understand a little bit because of how much college football has changed like if anyone tried to play this game like it was today i would not i i don't know what i would do because I, we see today in college football play action pass you know uh, slinging the football, intercepting, you know, kickoff returns. There was really not much of that back then. There wasn't really any of it, I don't think. So, but, but it, it basically they were playing it like soccer. Uh, but it was football, right? Um, and it wasn't an end zone. It was territorial area. Uh, you know, so... So, and again, they were called games. There were 10 of them. Uh, you know, it, it's now quarters or score. Um, and again, this was still college football. These were still schools, right? New Jersey, a.k.a. Princeton now. Um and Rutgers uh 1869 football teams finished Princeton finished with a one and one record uh Rutgers finished with a one and one record um you know and they both played each other so the first game again was November 6th and they played they they played it the same exact way so they played twice there were two games in 1869 uh, one was on November 6th, and which uh, Rutgers beat Princeton 6-4, scored six games. Uh, Rutgers, or Princeton, scored four games. And then a week later, uh, Princeton scored eight games and shot them out 8-0. Um, so, uh, um A hundred people watched. Uh, everyone was interested in it. Everyone was all excited. You know, college football fans started. You know, the, this whole cheering for our team and everything. Um, you know, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to really talk about this game other than it just college football. You can look at the first ever game between Princeton and Rutgers, and then look at a game today where onside kick, you know, there's onside kick, there's fake field goals, there's play action pass, uh, using your hands. <laughs> I mean, they only used their feet really and just kicked it along the ground and stuff, you know, like it was soccer. But this was this was college football. These were two colleges playing the sport for the first time ever, and. Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, you know, so I, I just, I, I really don't have much else to talk about on this game, really. I, I figured it would be a whole lot of stuff, but it's really not. I mean, listen, first team to 10 games or points uh, was the winner. Um, you know, if you could win all 10 of them, uh, you know, New Jersey won four of them. Rutgers won only six, but they still won. Uh, you know, so... Uh, and they they didn't... Apparently, football was played like that from 1869. And I'm reading this here. Um, 
let's see, the first such game in the U.S. in which the ball is advanced and physically, uh, by physically picking it up and running, where play is stopped by knocking down the ball carrier. Basically what you see today, right? You pick it up and run. You pick it up and throw it. Uh, that It wasn't like that in college football uh, until, I guess, do the math, uh, four or six years later, actually, do the math. Because this was 1869. It wasn't until June 4th, 1875. Uh, so what do you know? There has been uh, spring football, summer football, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's hope we get actual fall football this year, uh, which it looks like we will. But, you know, so, I mean, there's really not a whole lot else to say. Uh, the whole point of this video was to just kind of reflect back on when this game started, right? It's not what we're used to today. It's not. Um, we can all agree on that. But if they didn't come up with the idea to play this, there wouldn't have been many changes to the game. There would not be a college football playoff or a BCS or anything. I mean, there might be, but this was the first college football game. And it's not at all what you see with teams like Bama and Auburn and the Iron Bowl or the Egg Bowl or, you know, uh, the championships. It, it, nobody plays it like that. No one says we scored a game. We scored a game winner. We threw a game-winning pass. We say we scored a touchdown. They said, and again, back then, it was a game. It wasn't a touchdown. It was a game is what they called it. Um, and so, I mean, Rutgers had a captain named John W. Leggett who had a strategy for his team at one point in the game, and he's said he wanted Rutgers to keep the ball low on the ground uh, to basically keep it away from taller players up here, you know, who could try to get the football. Uh, I mean, you don't really see that today. You know, I mean, it's so, but I, I just think I, the first game, read up on it. It's very interesting how the first game of college football went down. It's very interesting how it all started. It's very interesting to see how um, different it is today. Um, so I, I just think it's very interesting. Um, you know, I knew at some point I wanted to do this. I didn't realize how different it was. I mean, I'm sure that they didn't have, again, onside kicks or fake field goals or really field goals at all. Uh, I just didn't realize how different, like, scoring and everything was. It's really different, so I don't know. I, I just thought it was very interesting uh, to look back on how this sport started in New Brunswick, New Jersey, between New Jersey and Rutgers. And again, Rutgers ends up winning it 6-4. to four. Very low-scoring game, uh, and it just, it, it, it's interesting. Uh, definitely something you should read up on if you're into college football and how it started and everything this is where it all began um you know i'm curious i've never seen I, i'm sure they've met quite a few times before these teams even in recent years i'm sure uh i'll have to watch it sometime I, I, i'm curious you know what that's like i mean i'm sure they play it normally i don't know if they show pictures or anything from the very first game I don't think it was broadcast uh, on radio or anything at the time. I don't think. I'm not sure. That's something I might have to look at too. But I, I just think it's interesting how far this sport has gone and, you know, changed throughout the years. Uh, again, no one kicks it on the ground. No one calls it a goal. We got field goals, right? It, it basically was soccer. Uh with a pigskin right not even a pigskin it, it was just a round ball you know uh but this was this was the first college football game uh it might not sound like a college football game because it's not what you're used to believe me i i mean i'm looking at this and i'm like that's not football 
Uh, but it was at the time. So, anyway, I thought it was interesting, and, uh, yeah, so. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I, I'm sorry, I, I know I didn't go into too much detail. There's really not a whole lot to say about this game other than times have really changed with college football. It, it You heard about it, right? It was called a goal. Uh, you kicked it along the ground past goal line, you know, basically soccer. Uh, you know, you pick it up and throw it in there or whatever. And, uh, you know, Rutgers and Princeton or New Jersey, whatever, whatever team name you want to use for Princeton or New Jersey or whoever, that was the first football game. And that was the beginning of the greatest sport in all the sports in in America. Um, now, of course, that's debatable. If you like baseball more, you like baseball more. I don't know. But anyway, I just thought it was interesting, and I thought I would share it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. If you enjoyed this video, though, uh, you know, definitely hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, really would appreciate it. I know I didn't go into too much details. Again, there wasn't really a whole lot. Uh, but if anyone else has any more information on this that I probably didn't find, uh, definitely comment down below. Uh, maybe you know a little bit more about the game than I do. I'm sure there's quite a few people out there that probably do. Uh, you know, definitely let me know. And again, if there is a college football game you would like me to review or look at for another college football flashback video, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, comment down below. Send me an email if you want to. BallardSports19 at gmail.com. Uh, all overcase, by the way. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I just, at some point I knew I wanted to look back at the very first college football game. Uh, so I figured may, maybe go ahead and do that one. Uh, it's amazing how college football has changed. I mean, it is not the same. <laughs> today as it was 150 years ago so anyway uh really appreciate you guys watching and tuning in today like comment subscribe all that good stuff thank you so much for watching and tuning in and i'll see you guys next time until then my sports media checking out y'all have a good one